side project thing. Do you know, mm. kind of go into that a bit more? And um, yeah, so I feel like it's becoming a lot more popular amongst my friend groups who are obviously now graduating, kind of starting their own jobs. They're all talking about okay, so this is your job, but what are you going to do on the side? It's becoming yeah, a bit more yeah. mainstream, a bit more trendy, almost. Yeah, um, um, I, I'm not going to take any credit for that. I, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm I'm a symptom rather than a cause uh, of this whole side project thing. So. I oh, there, there's so many reasons for people having side projects. Yeah. I think I think modern life can feel quite inauthentic sometimes. It can feel quite driven, and I think people always look to find something that they enjoy doing. Yeah. I think there's a there's a writer called Dan Pink who wrote a book called Drive, and he talks about motivation being a mix of um, autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Like, do you feel like you have control of something? Mm -hmm. And you may not like feel like you've got control of your job sometimes, and you may not feel like you've got control of your family sometimes. So have you got something that you can control? He also talks about mastery. Do you feel like you're good at something? Because having been good at something is a really great self-confidence building piece. So mm -hmm. often a side project is, sometimes it is autonomy, and it's doing your own thing in your own time. Sometimes it's about getting better at something. And he also talks about purpose. So autonomy, mastery, purpose. And purpose is like, and where is this going? Where am I going? What do I want to do? Because like, yeah. my job is a thing that maybe I do to get paid. Yeah. Maybe at best my job is a stepping stone to another job. You know, maybe I have found my vocation, but is this it for 50 years? Probably not. Mm. So in some ways, side projects can do all of those things because they are time and space to indulge an interest do some research, explore something, try something, experiment on something, yeah. and you know, change the world on a part-time basis. It might just be your world, but that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and what, we've, what I've found is that A, loads of people have these projects, B, they're getting lots out of them, mm -hmm. and finding a good, satisfying side project is basically a mix of finding something that you love doing, yeah. finding something in which you have an existing degree of competence, yeah. But that doesn't mean there's plenty of room to get better at it. In mm -hmm. fact, it's great if actually you've got some of the competencies and you can learn the rest. And it's also something that feels like it's part of tomorrow's plan. Like, is this something that you imagine that you'll do more of tomorrow? And basically, I started interviewing people about their side projects. And so far, I've 16 or 17, can't remember. Um, I need to do some more. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm working with one of the people that I interviewed about their side project and we're, we're talking about whether we might write a book as a side project. Got to find a time uh, <laughs> for that one, but I'm kind yeah. of keen to try and do so. Yeah, yeah but it, absolutely. It's, it's just been a notion that seems to have connected with people. Absolutely. I've literally been having these conversations with my mates recently cool. who have said that you know my job's my job, but and I'm getting well paid and it's great and I don't mind it. But where's the purpose, yeah. right? And it's I think again you really described that really well. And I think the other value piece of it is that you mentioned in your TED talk is that actually you're building other skills mm. through doing your side project that actually help you yeah, in absolutely. kind of your wider yeah. life. And there might be skills, but equally sometimes it's, it's connections and network. Mm. It's just it's just kind of capacity that, yeah. you know, if that's just that your next stepping stone in your career path, where how do you develop the skills that you haven't already developed yes. that you need for the next level? Yeah. And actually what we're also seeing is organizations thinking about how they let their staff do side projects as a way of developing skills they don't have mm -hmm. or as a way of showcasing their skills and abilities so for example one of the classic a lot of kind of design agencies will often do contract work with a client that they can't share because there'll be intellectual property involved in it so you've got an agency doing amazing creative work and they can't show that work to prospective clients mm. because it's all covered by intellectual property and yeah. non-disclosure with existing clients. So actually, how do you build stuff that you can share? Mm. And actually, side projects are a way of doing that. Like, could you let your staff do side projects as a way of showing their skill set? Yeah. And, and that is a really kind of compelling idea that I think more organisations are thinking about. And, and actually, that is quite structural. You, you know, everyone's heard of kind of Google's 10% time. Um, 3M have had a 15% personal projects rule since, I think I'm going to get this wrong, but the late 1940s. Right. Like, yeah. lots of big, really big innovation mm. organisations have long worked out that letting people have side project time 
is a great way of generating new and innovative ideas. That's brilliant. And, and retaining their staff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, that's important for yeah, them, yeah, right? Yeah. That's brilliant. Um, just going to 